It's been a very interesting time in our industry. Um, the youth sports landscape has definitely changed over the last few months, and as, as has the whole world. As we've been talking about, parts of Indiana are entering phase four of reopening today, but for some youth sports teams, they've already been out practicing for weeks now, all of them playing under new rules and restrictions due to COVID-19 and social distancing. Alexa Green joining us now to break down how they're keeping both kids and coaches safe Enjoy the outdoors right now. Good morning, Alexa. Good morning to you, Scott. Hey, let's face it. It's hard to social distance while playing sports, but these coaches and these players tell us they are doing the best they can to keep everyone safe while life returns back to normal. At Finch Creek Fieldhouse in Noblesville, they tell us they could have hundreds of kids on the field and the turf at one time. Now, though, they're limiting that to 100 people or less inside their facility. There's also hand sanitizer available for use. Kids are bringing their own balls and water bottles. All water fountains have been shut off, and the owner says he's trying just to take all the precautions he can. We know that if you're going to play baseball and you're going to play catch, that you know your partner and is, you're going to share a baseball. And at some point when the basketball world really starts playing games again, impossible to social distance and, and always have your own balls. Cole tells us there have been some players who have been wearing masks during practice. Others have just taken the summer off. Cole telling us there are just some parents who aren't comfortable having their child playing just yet. He says when they are ready, though, the team will be ready to welcome them back. In the meantime, he says he's focusing his attention on keeping everyone safe. That's the latest on the West Side, Alexa Green, Fox 59 News. Thanks, Alexa. And when pro 